So in this video, let us look at how equations of straight lines looks in organ plane. So let us try two types of derivations that we can have in derivation of straight lines. First is direct extension from coordinate geometry to complex number plane. We know that the equation of a straight line looks like AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0 on the Cartesian plane. Now let us try to convert this into the equation in organ plane. So when you try to convert the equation into organ plane, the point on the straight line, a general point on the straight line in coordinate equation is x comma y. So in the argon plane, the general point is taken as z is equal to x plus i y. So if you want to convert this equation in terms of z, what you just need to do is z is x plus i y, z bar is x minus i y. So this implies z plus z bar by 2 is equal to x and y can be written as z minus z bar by 2i is equal to y. So if you just substitute z plus z bar by 2 in the place of x and z minus z bar by 2i in the place of y, this corresponding equation will be converted into the equation in organ plane. So let us do this. A times x is z plus z bar by 2 plus b times z minus z bar by 2i plus c is equal to 0. <coughs> so this implies, so here you have a z, here you have a z. Let us take z one side. So z times a by 2 plus b by 2i plus z bar times z bar times a by 2 minus b by 2i plus c is equal to 0. This implies z times so 1 by i we know that 1 by i is minus i. So a minus b i by 2 plus z bar times minus 1 by i is plus i. So a plus b i by 2 plus c is equal to 0. So this 2 can be taken into LCM and cancelled out on that side. So z times a minus b i plus z bar times a plus b i plus 2 c is equal to 0. So this equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. If you convert this into an equation in organ plane, the equation looks like this. The coefficients a comma b of the Cartesian form gets converted into corresponding complex numbers a plus bi and a minus bi. Now, if you carefully observe this, how does this look like? So if you take this complex number a plus bi as a complex number p, can you see that this is nothing but p bar? So the general form of equation of straight line in organ plane looks like z times some complex number bar plus z bar times the same complex number without bar plus some constant is equal to 0. So this is the general form of the equation of a straight line in organ plane. And now if you are given an equation like this, what is the slope of this equation? What is the slope of this equation? As you can see, these numbers which you get as the coefficients of z and z bar depend on the a and b of the original equation. So we know that the slope of this line is minus a by b, right? Hence the slope of this line should also be equal to minus a by b. And if, if you see clearly, what is minus a by b here? Minus a by b is nothing but the value of minus of real part by imaginary part of the complex number p. 
So if you have an equation z p bar plus z bar p plus c equal to 0, the slope of this line depends on what p is. The slope of the line is minus of a by b real part of p by imaginary part of p. So you take the coefficient of z bar which is equal to p and find minus of real part of p by imaginary part of p. And before doing this you have to make sure that the constant here that you have is a real number. Sometimes you will be given this constant as an imaginary number. In that cases you just multiply the whole equation with i, make this constant real and then take the coefficient of z bar and find minus of real part of p by imaginary part of p. So this slope is called the real slope of line. The real slope of the line. And we define something called imaginary slope of the line. Imaginary slope of line or complex slope of line is equal to directly minus of minus of p bar by p. So the complex slope of the line imaginary or complex slope is nothing but minus of z coefficient by z bar coefficient by z bar coefficient. So as you can see the real slope of a line will be a real number because this is minus of a real number by some real number. The complex slope of a line need not be a real number. So minus of the coefficient that you have with z by the coefficient of z bar. So why is this called the complex slope? Because this number need not be real. Why is this called the real slope? This is the real slope. The number is real. And this number exactly matches with the normal convention slope of the line that we studied in the Cartesian geometry.